Hi everyone, welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more. So let's see about something about uh, diet and dental caries. So this uh, dental caries is a very cliche topic. So we might have heard about uh, dental caries from our childhood with our parents and our teachers and everyone around us uh, will be talking about sugar and uh, dental caries so if you eat uh, toffee if you eat sugar you get caries so nothing special about it everyone knows it that sugar causes dental caries so what is a very peculiar thing which i'm going to talk about is the scientific background and why people are talking sugar is causing dental caries because um, as a research person or as a dentist we cannot just speak uh, conspiracy theories we need to stick on to evidence-based medicine so what are the evidences which support this theory that is sugar causes dental caries so whatever a dentist whatever a doctor speaks about the profession or the facts there should be a concrete scientific evidence behind it so in this session what I'm going to talk about is nothing about diet and dental caries that everyone knows is sugar causes dental caries. I'm not going to talk about the uh, theories of dental caries. I'm not going to talk about how caries can be prevented and how what are the treatment regime available for caries. I'm going to talk about the scientific evidence, the studies which help the people or studies which help the scientists to say that with confidence that sugar causes dental caries okay let's move on to a topic that is studies which supported studies which proved that causes dental caries that is sugar causes dental caries okay so, so we know dental caries basically it is a multifactorial disease not just the sugar can cause dental caries there need to be presence of bacteria there need to be a host factor that is our immune factors the saliva the tooth morphology many things are there and most importantly the time uh, time should be there for these bacteria to act upon the substrate so all these are etiology i'm not going in detail about etiology so i am stressing on the scientific evidence what we have so these are the experiments which were done in previous years or previous era the last century which proved or which created the substantial scientific evidence for dental caries caused by sugar or sucrose ultimately we know sugars are categorized into sucrose fructose galactose lactose so sugar is uh, sucrose is known as r sucrose it is the most significant sugar type which causes dental caries okay so when we take historical evidences for the skulls we dig up uh, the skulls from the past uh, years past million years back so such uh, evidence were available so the old eskimo skulls were completely caries free and the some hominids apes and these are some apes uh, skeleton uh, those also those were also like without any evidence of dental caries so what we are trying to prove is dental caries is a disease of civilization okay so the man was uh, consuming more and more refined sugars and he's getting more chances of dental caries so when we were into the raw food or the natural food there is there was no processed food then there was no caries so dental caries we can say that it is a disease of civilization so that was historical evidence so epidemiological evidence we will be seeing in very detail and experimental evidence this is one of the famous study which was done by orland orland and et al means his friends orland et al in 1954 it is a very simple study which was done uh, in rats there were two types of rats or two groups of rats both were exposed to sugary food but one was exposed sugary food by keeping a tube directly to stomach 
they were fed directly to stomach so there was, uh, there was no contact to the food which contains sucrose to the teeth oral cavity and the other one were fed directly to the through oral cavity they were fed orally so they were eating uh, food by chewing and the other way other group were directly fed into their stomach to to the surprise that the group of rats which were fed directly to the stomach were not produced any caries and the other group produced caries so even if you eat sucrose it will not create dental caries it has to be come in contact with your tooth okay so the bacteria will act upon the sucrose and produce acids ultimately caries okay so let's see what all the evidences we have the first study which was done in sweden a wipe home mental institute okay, which was reported by gustafsson and davis in 1954 and 55 this was a mental institute where residents were given eight different types of carbohydrates okay so the all study was uh, divided into eight groups that is one was control then sucrose bread chocolate caramel eight toffee and 24 toffee so all were given these type of uh, material that is one was given sucrose that is 300 grams of sucrose then bread then one group were given chocolate then caramel then eight toffee and 24 toffee so we can see that it is going on a uh, increasing manner from control group to this group control group means uh, they were not getting any type of carbohydrate or very low carbohydrate carbohydrate means sucrose mostly containing sucrose so uh, the result of the study was you can see the graph here the 1946 to 51 where the period of study and this is carious tooth okay this is a carious tooth this is zero tooth carious tooth and this is 15 carious tooth okay so over the period of five years what it was observed that people who were consuming 24 toffees group were produced highest number of caries then the eight toffees okay so the least number were with control group of people without any sucrose diet so it is obvious that people who are eating more number of toffees were getting more number of caries so it has thus proven that the increase in consumption of sugar causes increase in caries and the increase in sugar between meals when we eat along with food along with our lunch along with our dinner it won't create much problem but between lunch and dinner if we eat sugar means it will stick to our tooth and it causes more time to get cleared off from the tooth so it has more time for the bacteria to act upon so that's what this study has proven this food uh, this wipe home uh, sweden study has proven that if you eat more sugar you get more caries the second study was hopeput house study okay hopeput house study was a residential school type where the children were residing and uh, it was done by sullivan and harris in 1942 1967 a 13 years up to 13 years they were followed so it was a uh, residential school where only particular type of diet were provided which were uh, rich in vegetables and milk whole wheat nuts soya bean and mostly the uncooked food and they are poor in trees sugar and refined carbohydrate so they had very uh, low exposure of dental caries okay after this they compared uh, with this normal state schools okay and this hopwood house children and normal state school were compared so what they found out was this dmf is, is total caries experience decay tooth missing tooth and filled tooth all due to dental caries okay you can see that in under 10 years the hope house had only 0.85 compared to 5.28 almost five times greater in the state school children where the uh, normal sugars were readily available okay this hope house was with rigid uh, restrictions for carbohydrate you can see it is one here it is almost seven seven times in the age group of 11 and 12 it is 1.8 and 9.3 and all age groups it was almost five to six times more caries okay that also proven that the hope house study also proven that 
the diet is causing dental caries and especially the presence of refined carbohydrate or sucrose causing more caries you eat more caries you get more if you sorry if you eat more uh, sucrose you get more caries so the next study was Tuku sugar study which was done by Sheenan and McKinnon in 1972 to 1974 in Finland. So it was uh, three different types of sugars. By the time it has proven that the carbohydrate is causing dental caries and how it differs each other because we have so many types of those fructose, xylitol and galactose, many types of sugars we had. So they just wanted to know what causes what percentage of caries so in this study they had three groups one was uh, eating chewing gums with sucrose one was with chewing gums fructose and one was with xylitol and they were observed for two years and they found out was the least caries producing group was xylitol group then the fructose and the highest was with sucrose that is why we are promoting Chewing gums with xylitol, we know happy and and orbit orbit with uh, fructose and happy and with xylitol. So these two are like sugar mimicking uh, sugars. They are not actually true carbohydrate. Bacteria cannot act upon these carbohydrates. They can act upon only on sucrose and produce lactic acid, which causes dental caries. They cannot just act on this fructose and xylitol. And produce acid they can produce but very very little amount so it has proven that xylitol has a very good effect on this dental caries resistance so that is where we are promoting the chewing gum with xylitol and uh, fructose so the commonly available chewing gum is uh, happy dent and fructose with uh, orbit okay so the difference of uh, carbohydrate has a different effect on dental caries and this is one landmark study this trista da Kunha is an island which is present in the uh, southeast uh, region of atlantic ocean which is a very remote island so what happened was the study was done by holloway et al now what happened was in 1960 there was a volcanic eruption and soon all the inhabitants were all the inhabitants were evacuated to England okay so when they came to England they were checked for dental caries and what uh, they found out after four years because they, these four years they were uh, staying in England okay. the dental caries increases by 50 to 80 percentage in four year period and before they uh, coming to England the caries exposure was literally zero just they exposed to a civilized world the caries experience or the caries presence was increased almost 80 percentage so this island uh, was one of the landmarks today which proven that the civilization is a dental caries is a disease of civilization okay and this is one uh, another study hereditary fructose intolerance some people are having this problem this fructose and uh, fructose containing dietary factors they cannot just digest it so they don't eat it commonly in such group the dental caries found to be very low okay so this is fructose sucrose is the most uh, detrimental than fructose so people with uh, fructose uh, problem the caries found to be very low and this world war studies were conducted to found out to uh, and which found out the dental caries and uh, the carbohydrate association because during the world war time the civilians uh, did not get much of the sugar because of this rationing and dental caries was very much low among the civilians but what happened with the soldiers they were given canned food or uh, mainly ready-made food and processed or refined sugar and the dental caries was much more higher in this particular uh, soldiers because uh, they were uh, given mainly the chocolates for getting uh, instant energy so such uh, food types cost dental caries uh, compared to the civilians uh, civilians were exposed to very low amount of sugar during the world war so this was a world war ii study which has proven the association between sugar and dental caries 
So all these studies has invariably proven that caries is a result of civilization or caries is caused by sucrose or the carbohydrate, refined carbohydrate. People who are exposed to natural or raw food are not much affected with dental caries. People who are exposed to uh, refined or processed food or canned food, they are, having, they are producing much more caries. That's why caries was literally absent in uh, era beyond uh, 1700 uh, or 1600 and it is very much evident after 1800 or 1900 so now caries is almost uh, like a pandemic every uh, person has dental caries one or two because the uh, dietary habit is a lot of changed we are nowadays eating not of uh, very much raw food we are mostly eating processed or canned food so all these studies have given the scientific evidence to say that this toffee causing caries or eating sugar causing caries okay so we must know that what are the scientific evidence so anyone can say that the dental caries is caused by sugar but these were the landmark studies which has proven which has created the evidence to say that dental caries is a product of carbohydrate or dental caries is a product of civilization it is a disease of civilization so I'll come up with a new class. Thank you.